Hey guys, it's Zoe Duchamp. Welcome back to my channel. And I wanted to sit down and film a very quick video on some luxury summer accessories that I have absolutely been loving. So I have six things here to share with you guys and we're just gonna get right into it. So the very first thing is from this tiny, tiny, tiny little box from Hermes. I'm not actually sure if you guys have seen something this tiny, but let's just open it up. And it is this adorable little candy doll Twilly from Hermes. So look how absolutely tiny and cute this Twilly is. So these Twillies, these um, like doll Twillies were specifically made, I believe for like a mini Kelly. So they're perfect for wrapping around handles of like your mini bags. It doesn't have to be an Hermes Kelly um, or just having like a beautiful little accessory. Like this could be tie tied onto the wrist in a little bow to make a really cute little bracelet. It can also be used as a really short ponytail in the hair uh, and can be used just on any bag as a like little cute bow accessory. So it is quite versatile because it is quite small, I think. Sometimes I feel a little burdened by the fact that twillies and bandeaus can be kind of like really long and uh, if I'm trying to wear it as just maybe a cute bow or something, I feel that there's just a lot of excess of the twilly that I don't really wanna use it for that purpose. So having this really cute um, small twilly is perfect to just have as a really easy summer accessory. And the fact that it's gray means it's really neutral. It does have this beautiful little like candy orange detailing on the side and it has this beautiful little kind of like old west print on it. The interesting thing about these twillies, and I'm not really too sure because I don't, this is actually my first Hermes twilly, but they come out in like specific patterns and colorways. So but what I mean by that is that this particular style you can get in four different colors. I do unfortunately believe that this color just sold out actually. I think I got like maybe the last or the second to last one available, but you can see that at least for this particular twilly, it's got like this star detailing in the middle and then it has kind of this old west station on the sides but actually like on the website it shows a, a quite different pattern I would say it shows a pattern that says Hermes in the middle and then it has some other kind of non-symmetrical detailing on the outsides but I actually tried to get that specific patterning so I actually ordered maybe three of these twillies to try and get them but I actually just got like two of these and one other different kind of patterning that I didn't really like. So I ended up settling for this pretty symmetrical one because it is quite symmetrical, but I actually didn't know that what you saw on the website wasn't a guarantee of what you were actually going to get in terms of Twilly. I don't know if that's exactly what you get on other Twillies as well, but something to consider because this is still available on their website. You can order this online, but just as a forewarning, the exact pattern you see on the model on the photo might not be the one that you actually get when you order it, but I still love this. It's 100% silk, really high quality because it is Hermes and because this is a little tiny version of it this retails for $145 on the website still quite expensive for this really really tiny accessory but I do like the fact that it's it is more of just like a really cute accessory you can add to a bag so if I'm adding a bow to a bag or if I just want to wrap part of the bag this is great for that whereas the bandeau sometimes can be a little large for what I'm looking for so really really in love with this adorable cute mini twilly and that actually leads me right on to our next piece which is something from Louis Vuitton so this is actually a full-size twilly or bandeau as they call them on the Louis Vuitton website but this guys like stole my heart this colorway I was like blown out of the water <laughs> like I don't know I believe this is called their wish list bandeau and it is so beautiful. So it's called this kind of cream off-white color on one side with these cute little bags and monogram detailing. And then on the other side is like the most stunning, beautiful pastel pink with the monogram that you could ask for. So if you guys had watched my birthday haul, I had talked about that I really wanted a pink twilly, but I accidentally kind of ended up with a black and white Chanel twilly instead. I'm even more glad that that happened because I stumbled upon this. It was released recently and I had like, I mean, I still needed it. And if I would gotten the Chanel one, I might be, I might have second guess whether or not I got this twilly, but because I was still in the market for a beautiful pink twilly, I snatched this up as soon as I saw it. And like, does this not scream spring and summer to you? So this one, I primarily thought that I would probably wear this more as kind of like a neck accessory because the bandos obviously are a little larger. So just wearing it like this, 
oh, so adorable. You could obviously make it into a little bow or probably wrapping it and wearing it as some kind of headscarf or headpiece I thought would be so cute. These kind of things, I don't have like a top handle bag that's like really, really large enough to sustain this kind of large twilly, I think. Most of my top handle bags, they've got like a pretty small top handle, which is kind of why I did buy that doll twilly. So adding this to accessorize a bag, I felt like was a little difficult. And that's kind of why I found a great kind of team combo where you can have this one as more of a body accessory and then this tiny one to fit a little bit more of my bags because currently most of my bags are kind of on like the smaller side. I don't really like really large bags at this time right now. I'm sure that'll change in the future, but it was perfect for my needs. So I cannot recommend this fully enough, 100% silk and it just feels so marvelous. So really, really loving this twilly. And I don't really think that you can have too many, really. <laughs> I think one color for each of the colors can't hurt, right? And that Twilly was, I believe, $210 pre-tax, so right around the Hermes price point as well. I definitely think that's a reasonable price to pay for at least a luxury brand Twilly. It's not really on the higher end. It's definitely on like the middle point, lower end of the spectrum of price. So I think it was well worth the money. And the third item that I'm showing you guys is actually something that I'm already wearing. So it is these Celine earrings. Uh, I believe they're called like the Triumph, mini Triumph earrings, <laughs> a little bit redundant, but they are this beautiful drop earring and just so simple, so neutral. And it really does not scream designer or luxury. And that's really what gravitated me towards these earrings. So they came in this cute little Celine box and it comes with a really nice travel pouch and you would see the earrings kind of just clipped in there but this travel pouch is really nice because it's not just for earrings I guess you kind of flip it down and it's just like this pouch that you can kind of put your pieces in could be really anything and then you just flip it up and you secure it by tucking it into this little top part right here and it kind of just really secures it like that so this is definitely something that I'll be using in my travels but going back to these adorable dainty earrings. So these things I actually have been really into Celine for some reason. I don't actually have any Celine pieces myself, but I'm definitely got some bags on the list that I'm looking at, but I thought a good entry piece would definitely be something small. So I did get these earrings. They're brass with gold plating as most fashion jewelry is, but as I was browsing through a lot of the jewelry on their website, some people think it's kind of like quiet luxury because at least in terms of like the leather material and the, the designs themselves are quite simple, but of course the Triumph line in the Celine collection is quite like BAM. It's got the Celine logo like right there in shiny gold hardware. And so that's not super quiet, but I did like the Triumph design itself because I do think that unless you're a little bit more familiar with the luxury community, Celine is definitely a little bit of a lesser known brand. Um, I actually wore these earrings a couple days ago into work and someone was like, wow, I really like the design. Like, where is that from? And I told them Celine and they had no idea what it was. They thought they were like little turtles kind of like going like this. <laughs> On the ends of the earrings so I do think that it's nice to have just a little touch of luxury but they are just like classic and they don't scream at you really so if you look at the earrings they've just got this kind of tiny little gold rectangular piece at the stud part and then we've got a dangle and we have a very very tiny little triumph on the bottom you can really barely tell but you can see they dangle and they're pretty and they catch the light and i do think that they're just a wonderful piece to add into my collection i've mentioned before that i am trying to expand into different metals my favorite kind of metal is rose gold and i have just like way too much rose gold at this point so i'm trying to expand into like the white gold just gold parts of my collection and so adding these i thought were just so lovely because they are neutral and I do love myself a good dangly earring. It's also nice that they're not like too bright of a gold. They're not brushed either, but they're just like right in the middle, I would say. So they're definitely gold, but they're not like so kind of yellowy or shiny that I would maybe not like it. I don't like it when the gold is like too shiny personally. So it's just like checked all of my boxes for something that I would definitely look into an, an earring. And it has just solidified my growing interest in Celine. So I hope to share some more Celine pieces with you very soon. These earrings retailed for $520, I believe. Pretty normal, I would say, for fashion jewelry, maybe slightly on the lower end if you compare it to like Chanel and Dior or Hermes, for example, but just right around that price point. Of course, 
like I always say for a lot of things, they are expensive, but if you're gonna really love it and you're gonna wear it a lot, it's a good investment. That's what I always say. Maybe I shouldn't say too much because I love shopping, but <laughs> um, you can make your own decisions. I'm just here to give you suggestions and give advice, so. Moving right along. So this one is the big purchase of today's video, but can you guess what it is from the box? Bit of unboxing um haven't worn it yet so you guys are here along the ride with me but this just um, stole my heart so it is the kelly 18 belt in gold hardware with i'm a little predictable rose gold hardware so i really am not a belt person like i really don't have belts and even other luxury belts that i've bought previously like when the gucci belt was a super hype i bought it and literally never touched it so i don't know i just maybe i just wasn't too knowledgeable about what kind of belts were out there but recently i have just kind of been perusing on different styles and different outfits that people have been putting together and what youtubers were really interested in these days and this belt just kept popping up and I started looking a little bit more into this belt and I just fell in love with like all aspects of it really. Um, the number one thing is that it's adjustable, right? So it can fit a waist of 23 inches all the way up to a 40 inch because it's got this adjustable detailing here. So basically what you do is you can slide this piece and kind of adjust the belt um, to make it either wider or um, more fitted. And so that's really wonderful because you're basically getting like two, three belts in one, right? Like this belt can be worn right at the smallest part of your waist and you don't need to get a new belt when you're wearing low rise jeans, right? So this can fit any outfit, any size of person and it's just so versatile. So I think that's like the number one selling point of the Kelly belt. Additionally, it has just a beautiful design and look, right? It's got, I mean, I personally just went for the gold because it's just the most classic. I'm still new to Hermes, so I kind of wanted to stick to the more classic colors, and I felt that this can be worn pretty much all year round, right? Spring, summer, fall, winter, whatever. And then in terms of the hardware, I did have a little bit of trouble deciding on what hardware I wanted to go for, whether it be gold or rose gold. I definitely wanted one of the two. I originally thought that I really wanted the gold because gold on gold is one of the most classic Hermes combinations there is. As I was looking and um, I was trying to find as much like mod shots and information as I could on YouTube. Couldn't find too much, honestly. But as I was thinking, I thought that maybe rose gold would just be more suited to my wardrobe at the current moment in time. Just because, at least on my wrists still and my hands, I do primarily wear rose gold, even though up top, like my necklaces and earrings, I am starting to expand into different metals as well. But if the belt is down here and my hands are down here, and obviously how you move your hands is going to draw attention to this area, people maybe I thought would find more of a clash if I was mixing metals down here, whereas I feel like mixing metals kind of vertically is not that big of a deal. So I did end up getting the rose gold hardware and honestly I feel like this was a really good choice because the rose gold for Hermes is just it's a very subtle rose gold in different lights you might not even be able to tell it is rose gold at all but it's a little less jarring like I think sometimes when you look at just really shiny gold like I was saying with my earrings it's too yellow it's too shiny it's too bright and I just don't like that look so the rose gold it's just it like kind of flows a little bit well with the gold leather and it's not as shiny in my opinion. And again, like I said, it would match a little bit more things in my wardrobe currently. So this is ultimately the combination I decided on. So the way that you can just close the belt is that um, it's actually got a really easy snap closure. You can hear that snap kind of, and you don't actually even need to turn this buckle because it's really um, secured in place. And then all you need, to, if you want to, you can turn it. If not, you can actually just leave it as is. I would usually just turn it just in case, but it's pretty in there once it's snapped into place. You kind of have to give it a little bit of force to pry it open, but it's nice because it keeps the belt like in this straight line. If it didn't have that snap kind of detailing, then it would kind of shift around, I think, which I think if you look at fakes, that's kind of how they, you can kind of tell if they're fake or not. So this currently retails at $1,025. So 
yeah it's really expensive for a belt i have to admit but like i said the versatility right this is like two three belts in one so if you're gonna get a luxury belt and you know you're gonna pay i don't know seven hundred dollars average for a nice luxury belt you might as well just tack on the extra three hundred four hundred dollars to get a belt as versatile as this one and another thing that i really love is that this belt can be worn both casually and dressed up i think what the way that I'll typically wear it is probably just belted at the smallest part of my waist, most likely with dresses, probably maybe sometimes with pants as well. But I have seen people really dress an outfit up by putting it over jackets and everything. And again, you can do that because it's adjustable, right? You can wear something really bulky up top and still belt it because this belt can fit pretty much any person of any size. So uh, this is definitely a summer accessory that I would really, really recommend. And it's not just summer. Again, it can be worn in anything. And the number one selling thing to me for anything that I buy luxury is how versatile is it? How many different ways can I wear it? How many different situations can I wear it in? And this belt definitely checks every, every, every box. So of course the mod shots will be shown here but I hope that you'll be inspired. And I hope that this also just provides a little bit more information on the gold and rose gold combination. I wasn't really able to find that much on YouTube about this. And this is, this is just so stunning. So cannot be happier with this purchase. So next up is not super an accessory, but I did want to include it because it's kind it could be kind of accessory. It's more of a clothing item, definitely for sure. But this one is from Zimmerman. And it is one of their newest swimsuits, and it is just absolutely gorgeous. It's got this dusty blue in the background, and then it has this floral detail patterning, as well as this kind of like deep U with this gold brass hardware on the middle part. And it's also got adjustable straps, so it comes with these straps, they can make it into a halter, which is really nice because, you know, we know that strapless isn't so secure all the time. Um, and additionally, it does have these kind of padded cups, which are really nice, but they're also removable if you'd like to take them out. So this I just like fell in love with when I went into store to try it on. And usually I don't think I would gravitate to, towards this kind of patterning um, if I just like saw it online because I don't know, it's, it's definitely like out of it's not something that I would really consider to be kind of my style, like this kind of patterning. It does give me a little bit of more like antique, older vibes a little bit, but when I put it on, the fit was incredible, I would say. It's really, really stretchy. It's just regular kind of like scuba swimsuit material. Um, it fits really well up here. It's got a really good stretch and it has a little bit of ruching on the bust as well, which just adds to the detailing of your figure, I think. Ultimately, why I decided to go with this piece is because number one, it is a swimsuit for sure, but you can also just wear it as a really, really cute bodysuit. So I'll include some mod shots of what I'm talking about, but if you just throw on a cute pair of white shorts or jean shorts or whatever, you are ready to go shopping in the daytime. And then once the temperature goes down a little bit, you can take the shorts off and you can jump into the ocean. So I really liked that aspect of it where it's kind of, it's almost like art. <laughs> it's just that pretty. People might not think it's a swimsuit at first if you're accessorizing it well. So again, all about that versatility here but I haven't worn this yet I ha I did buy this for an upcoming vacation that I have so I will definitely give an update on like the wear of this I always do worry a little bit when buying like luxury swim suits because are they making them primarily because they're really beautiful or are they making them primarily because they do really well in water so I will definitely um, keep you guys updated on the wear of this swimsuit but if you are looking for a beautiful summer swimsuit, I would highly, highly recommend Zimmerman. They have a bunch of styles that are on sale because they have like a resort swim as well as a summer swim collection that they do like twice a year. And oftentimes once the season passes, their older styles go on sale. So this one was a little bit more expensive because it's brand new, no sale attached. I believe this swimsuit retails for $360 and um, this is also called the chintz deep u trim one piece so this one is a little bit more expensive because it has this beautiful design but they do also make this shape in just regular blue black and other just like very plain colors at a little bit of a more cheaper price but um the other swimsuits like bikinis and everything there were tons and tons that i saw in store that were on sale 50 percent off so if you're willing to spend at least like 120 dollars on like a beautiful beautiful swimsuit 
would recommend Zeroin. They are now my go-to place for all my summer essentials. And then the absolute last piece that I have for today's video is from Cult Gaia. And it is something that they have um, been quite known for. So this style is not new. It's already like gone viral on social media and everything. I was a little late to the party, but it is their Gaia's Arc small top handle bag. So it comes in that beautiful little pink box and it also comes with a dust bag. But it is just this super simple wooden top handle bag. So it's called Gaia's Arc, so it's in the shape of a half circle inside nothing it's just blank and you do have to kind of keep the handles closed shut like this so you can hold it but obviously if you're holding it as a top handle you're gonna keep your bag closed it's also cool because you can wear it just as a clutch if you fold the top handles down like this you can just kind of carry it in the crook of your arm like this as a beautiful little clutch so like I said, this is not a new style. This has been around for quite some time and I a ton of, I think it's already passed like it's influencer arc already, but they did come out with a like kind of updated version of the bag. So if you look at the very older models, they don't have this little beading detailing here. You can see like there is these wooden beads in between the slats of wood. This newer design now has these beadings, which I think that's like a really nice touch before I believe it was just like a little plastic beads. So it wasn't as nice, but it's just super simple, super chic and stylish, I think. I was looking for a designer raffia for a really long time and I was like super in love I'll include some pictures of the Dior Dijoy raffia or the Miu Miu raffia and there's just so many designer raffia styles that are so cute but at the same time they are just so expensive right and and we're talking for the most part they're like straw right raffia is not like a high quality kind of leather like we see in different types of bags but I just really couldn't bring myself to pay upwards of $2,000 for a bag that was like made out of what is essentially straw. Um, and additionally, because I live in San Francisco, it's not a hot climate like ever really, like year round, it's pretty cool, I would say. It does get warm sometimes, but it's not the type of city, even though it's a coastal city where I would bring out a raffia bag when I'm going out. So I would essentially be buying this really expensive designer bag for vacations that I might take once a year or once every two years. And it just really wasn't worth it to me. So I did look for a lot of alternatives and I was scouring websites to just find high quality summerish raffia or woven or wooden bags that were beautiful but it's still at a really affordable price and I just happened to stumble upon Colt Gaia and Colt Gaia obviously is a very up-and-coming trendy brand as of now I wasn't aware of this bag before I had like specifically looked for a bag like this but doing more research it seemed that people were really liking this bag a lot of people had bought it previously in the past and it did seem very vetted and this only retails for $118 so I could definitely spend $118 for a bag that I can definitely keep wearing every summer but it's not gonna break the bank and that's what I really, really liked about this bag. I was a little concerned at first about like people looking into the inside of my bag and being able to see things like that, but I, I think it's not gonna be that much of an issue. I think when I do start using this bag, I will probably keep like a slightly larger pouch in the bag as well, like a little makeup pouch or something to hold kind of like smaller valuable things, just so I feel a little bit more secure. And the other only downside I think to the bag is that there is no actual like closure to the bag, right? If I set it down, the handles kind of like stay in place, but they're not, nothing's keeping it kind of secure, right? So if I accidentally drop my bag, all my things are definitely gonna go flying onto the ground. So I did actually think about maybe buying a couple of little magnets and attaching them to the inside of the bag just so that it would stay in place. I will update you guys if I end up doing that and if you guys are curious about that. But those two things are like the only things that I was a little bit concerned about. The rest, I am super in love with the bag. I really like how the wood is super smooth and the bag is really sturdy and well constructed, you can feel. I did feel like other raffia bags, the straw is rough and if you brush up against it, you could like definitely get a splinter. So this bag, I think I was really happy to find because it checked off all my summer boxes. It was at an affordable price point. It was beautifully constructed and there's really nothing I can complain about this bag. So if you are in the market for a summer bag, cute little raffia bag, there's tons and tons of them out there, but I do think this is like pretty iconic. And I think that more and more people will start gravitating towards this bag too as the summer progresses. And because it's such high quality, I think it'll wear really well for all the years to come. So highly recommend this bag if you're looking for a summer one. Um, but that does bring us to a wrap for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching and I will definitely see you guys in the next one. Bye!